here. Live samples of the coronavirus have officially arrived to the North Shore where researchers at Tulane's Primate Center will try to find solutions to this virus. Now, as we work to separate the facts from the fear surrounding the new coronavirus, Erica Ferrandel sat down with two researchers who will be leading that project at the center in Covington. This is a global health crisis. And researchers with Tulane are working to tackle this global health crisis. A live sample of the coronavirus is now here at the Tulane National Primate Research Center in Covington. Which will be used to look at a lot of the questions that are that are still wide open. Dr. Skip Bone is part of a team of about 10 scientists trying to answer unknowns about the coronavirus. They'll first develop an animal model of the disease and infect non-human primates to answer the many unknowns like how it's spread, how it progresses, and are some people more susceptible? And the only way to answer those questions is to use an animal model. While researchers are hoping to answer these big questions about the coronavirus, one of the main goals is to develop a vaccine that eventually could prevent it from spreading. We can start testing vaccines almost immediately. While the process will start soon, finding a successful vaccine could take one to three years. Once we show uh, that it's safe and it works in animals, then it has to move on to human clinical trials. All of the research will be conducted here in the regional biocontainment lab. There are very few places in the country that have the facilities, the expertise, that we do. It might be a little unsettling to hear the coronavirus is in our backyard, but the lab has strict containment. The researchers will use protective equipment and they'll all be tested regularly. The level of containment that we're working with this is actually higher than is required. These researchers say rest easy. There is no public threat. And the public should feel comfortable that the way we're going to conduct this research is, is in the safest methods possible. In finding answers about this virus. In Covington, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And this research is paid for by a grant from the Brown Foundation, and they are also working to secure federal funding.